But um, guys, so right now we're going to be building a computer build for my father for entertainment purposes to provide the best computer build on a budget to stream. So this is our computer components that we're going to use to build this wonderful entertainment computer for my father and the high definition 2 gigs video card. We also have a Asus motherboard of which we're going to throw on 20 gigs of memory. We also have a AM3 6 core processor so that's going to be pretty darn good. We got 240 gigs. This is just going to be for our operating system. This is a solid state drive. That's going to give our operating system those quick, quick operating system load times. We got some case fans. Uh, these case fans are blue, LED blue. These case fans are purple. This is basically going to give us a uh, Baltimore Ravens theme because our cool master case is all black. Matte, all black with a temperature glass and some RG b case fans in the front so that's gonna be absolutely wonderful wonderful oh i can't forget about this right here Woo! this guy this is a 14 volt black and decker screwdriver still functional still functional i had this since i was 18 i'm in my mid 30s now guys but this one i tell you this has memorial value as when I was young uh, my parents they basically bought me a black and decker toolkit and you know lost a toolkit you know <laughs> your kids could be you know when, when you're young in the teens you know you tend to lose stuff you know since we built in my dad this computer build we're gonna build this computer using the screwdriver that my dad and my mom had got me you know what I'm saying This is our Cool Masters MB32OL. It comes with the ARGB case fans that are already pre installed into the front of your case. As I previously stated, this is pretty much you got your vent hose here, uh, which allows you to draw in air from the front of the computer case into your computer case. You also have some vents at the bottom which pretty much do the same process at the top you got your ventilation uh, which you can install two additional case fans your rear you can install one big case fan um, if you got you know one of those smaller uh, case fans you can install two so you can do one of these now if you got the smaller Again, computer case fans, you can install two. What I also love about this particular case is that we got ventilation underneath here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's my hand right there. So with the power supply going to be mounted as such here, so that way the power supply can breathe. This is a 400 watt power supply of which uh, it is it's a lot of power for what we're basically running. If we were actually doing some sort of gaming build or, you know, strenuous video uh, processing of data, then we would beef up our power supply to something like 750, you know, and that's just for growth. But for what we are running right now, this 400 watt power supply is perfect. So let's get this bad boy open. They tend to lock these down tight. So this particular mesh here goes at the top. It's a screen to help filter dust. These are all your case wiring uh, for your case fans. It comes with this hallway here. You got multiple screws. The standoffs are actually pre-installed. So that's, that's wonderful. 
So majority of these screws are going to be for mounting brackets for your hard drive, your SATA drives, and you also have your controller here. This is going to be the RGB controller that allows you to turn your RGB on, off, and if I'm not mistaken, you can switch the color effects from this. This is the temperature glass that I was referring to. What we're going to do is basically take the temperature glass off. Man, they really do install this stuff. They screw is tight. And this is the temperature glass. Now, it looks like it's like dimmed and dirty, but that's because of the plastic. So once we take that off, it'll be a nice finish. So, first thing first, I just want to line this up to look at our standoff screws and see exactly where we're going to be mounting this bad boy. So, that looks perfect right there. That's absolutely perfect. Perfect, perfect. So, thus far, it's one, two, three four five six six case screws for our motherboard go ahead and connect our cpu just connect our heat sink kind of wiggle wiggle her through pull it apart hmm what I'm not seeing here is some super, super duper dry thermal paste. We're going to actually add some MX4 thermal paste and put it back together and be on our merry way. Got some rubbing alcohol and some toilet paper. We're just basically going to dab it. We don't want it to be super wet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, slap this in the middle. Now, there's a lot of um, questions as to what's the best practice for applying thermal paste. You know, honestly, it's up to your preference. I typically uh, apply the thermal paste in the middle, and I just spread it on through, throughout the surface. That way we can cover the surface of the CPU. And then, I put the heat sink on and go about my business so take our heat sink and get her back on all right so now I just lock it down there she goes she's nice and locked we want the power supply fan to be facing down uh, because you got ventilation here and then there's some screw holes here we're gonna match them up with the power supply so now I'm gonna match this up here start off at the top let me just push them all through the case and pull them on through it on the other end. So we can just basically connect this cable here. Now, our CPU power cable here is a bit too short for this. So we're gonna route it to the top, from the top on through and over here. Now, if that's too short, then we can route it from underneath and on through. So let me pull this cable out. The cable through here. It's probably rough for you guys to see, but I have the cable here. I'm going to connect it. That's too tight. So now what we're going to end up having to do is route it through the bottom. You can see me pull the cable from there and mount it up. Well, now we're able to get this bad boy to connect. You know, just put a little aftermarket 
video card there to bump it up to 2 gig. So that's 16 gigs right there. Actually, we're going to bump this up to 24. We're going to throw in uh, these 4 gigs. Now, yes, you can use different type of brand memory sticks. I've been doing this for years. It, it's not going to hurt anything. We're not doing anything, you know, super duper crazy major. I can see for like a server, okay, you want to kind of look out for that. But for a home computer that you're just basically going to be using to watch videos and browse the internet browser, this is perfect. This is, this is, this is perfect. Alright guys, so what we have here is our wireless card. This is Linksys by Cisco. It's a wireless and PCI adapter with a dual band. Model is WMP600N. Again, WMP600N. This bad boy is going to go here. At the bottom. Okay, install our antennas. It's not near the computer. The router is literally two rooms away on the same floor. Okay. That's perfect. Perfect. So we got wireless card, video card. Perfect. Stated before. Our IL shield is missing. We'll later come back. We can always just, you know, pop the motherboard off and pop our IL shield on. Be good to go from there. So, and where it comes to case fans, guys, always remember this flat surface here. All right, this is where your air is going to go out. Your air is going to flow out. Okay, so this surface here, where the basically the fan blade is just naked or uncovered um, this is where air goes in what we want is we got air flowing from outside the case inside the case we want the air to flow backwards so this flat surface is going to go right here so that way it can pull the air from in the case out the case and that's basically going to be your heat at that particular point you want the heat to exhaust out for our top fans you want this flat surface to go here and basically it's going to draw the air from in the case out the case there's a screen up here pull this bad boy off top case fans on again this mesh grill goes on the top spin this around all right so we got the rear case going so now what we want to do is connect our power to the fans then we're gonna look at our front two fans which is here we're going to make sure that these are connected to. So what we have here is our three case fans power. I'm just going to connect these together like so. Bring this one up. Connect that one together like so. This is going to be basically our power connector that's going to power on the fans. Just plug it up here. Case fans that we just installed they'll all receive power and since we're still on the side what I'm going to do is basically take our hard drive and get that connected 2.5 hard drive enclosure we can basically mount this bad boy here and slide it on through such as this way here and then we can install our hard drive in here and there we go 
she's on it. We'll plug up our SATA cable. So that's connected. Plug up our hard drive power. So now we got power for the hard drive, and we also have our data cable. This computer case has a little entry here. We can pull that up through here and just connect it like that. So this, the rest of this cabling, we can just basically move that off. But what I want to do is move it behind this cable, because we need to connect this cable, all these cables next. For our Coolmaster RGB fans, which are in the front, the two fans in the front, basically this is one of the fan cables and this is another fan cable here. And it basically feeds through this wiring to here. We basically need to connect one of these cables up to the actual switch. So we're going to line this up and it's also got an arrow on each side. I like to have this mount it to like the front of the computer case so want it to kind of be mounted somewhere so you can easily toggle it so let me run this cable through the case so we're still at the front we're connecting this controller to its power source take this SATA cable and we're basically going to feed it through the front of the computer case on through here and connect it to the power, the SATA power cable, which is coming from my power supply. So I'm going to route this through, connect it there. Excellent. All right, so now we have it here. So we're just going to connect her up like so, feed that on through. There we go. So now we have a perfect spot to put this at the front of the computer case. So again, it's got some arrows on this thing here and here. i connect that together. Use this Gorilla double-sided adhesive tape. You can get this tape at your... Uh, local hardware store so I think that's good enough right there there we go, get that on there alright so now I'll try to get this tape off, it's always oh I got it on the right try, look at that, that's what I'm talking about that's good, that's good now I don't want this to touch anything now let's see if I can do the same thing yeah, there we go. Alright, that's cool. So now, bring her out right there. Kind of wiggle it. That's good, that's decent. There we go. Alright guys, a quick rundown of what we have installed thus far. Motherboard, CPU, heatsink, fan, memory, video card, wireless card. We have power for our motherboard, power for the CPU, front case, USB ports, audio connections, power switch, power LED lights, and our SATA cable. We got a case fans, rear, top, front, all that's connected. Power supply. So now all we need to do is put our temperature glass back on and put the side panel back on and just basically power this on. Arranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw. Alright, guys, we are finished with my dad's computer build, which will allow him to watch his YouTube videos in 4K and don't have to worry about any performance issues, which we were able to do so. 
off camera, I installed the operating system, I installed some Windows updates, the security software, and other necessary uh, functionalities that you will need. Dropped the computer off, surprised him with it, he loved it, and it's working perfectly fine. Now, I could have documented how to install the operating system and the other necessary steps, you know, after you physically got the hardware installed on the computer, but majority of my uh, viewers, they are already familiar with installing the operating system, Windows updates, and other application functionalities. They already got that down. So my next video, what I'm going to actually going to do is when it comes to operating systems, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 operating system. So I got a laptop that I'm working on, which the laptop, it needs to be upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So definitely uh, put that video out next. So um, on another note, guys, if you are not a subscriber to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Definitely don't forget to hit the notification because you just might miss my next upload or you may miss my YouTube live stream. My live streams are basically, uh, you know, game live streams where you guys have the opportunity to basically communicate to me hand to hand. You guys can ask any technical questions that you may have with a game, console system, video rig, or, you know, we can just simply just link up engage into a game and just have some fun but guys it is time for me to wrap this video up got some things that i need to address so definitely don't forget if you are not a subscriber to the channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification and shout out to my day one subscribers i love y'all